Hello, my name is Pun, and this is going to be a full tutorial on how to make this simple copper golem sorter. Uh, you can feed it into another of the same design for endless storage. Alright, let's do this, sorry. Super easy, we're going to start out with laying out our chest. Super simple, just like that. One, two, three. And we're going to make nine because copper golems can do up to 10 chests. So we're going to have nine that we want them to sort into and one for a miscellaneous chest that will send it uh, any unsorted items into somewhere else to be sorted. You're going to use a soul sand that way they can uh, access the bottom blocks and then just use some slabs on top of here. You're going to want to use top slabs right there. And then on top of here, you're going to put a trap door, but not right now. We're going to wait before we do that. The cover chest will be here. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to make the copper golem right now. I see people use minecarts to do this. It's so complicated. I didn't like it. I was like, there has to be a simpler way. And there was. Eh, do one more and make sure. He doesn't jump out immediately after you make him. Go ahead. You're going to want to break. Oop. I thought I hit him. And then boom shakalaka. And then on top of the top chest, you want to put a trap door on a, to make sure he doesn't jump out. And then just like that, he should be all trapped. You got to remove those where you won't be able to use the top chest. And then something. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, no. This one should have been a slab. My mistake. Wonderful. We got it so that he didn't come out. So next, we want him to be against the chest. And when you have more than one, it's probably better to use like a sweeping edge knockback two sword but with just one it's actually super easy to just punch him against it and then he'll be closer to these chests than to this one that we're about to put right now this will be our miscellaneous chest and then we're just going to steal no no we have a copper chest for this guy here you go so he'll take from this copper chest and then he'll search all nine of these and i will show you that by putting in these to fill the chest already. Okay, and now you'll see when I put in this pumpkin seed, he will check all nine of these before he checks this last chest because he's so close to these. That's the first one that opened down there, second one right here. Third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and then this will be the tenth check chest that he checks, and he will put it in just like that. And then if you want to put it into another copper chest, right? You just create this system all over again. Put it one block over right here. Same as this one, right? And then just hopper fill it. And then you create the exact same setup right here. And then you can keep daisy chaining in it. <laughs> daisy chaining it just like this. As you can see, this is the first chest. And then they check all of them in front. When you're using multiple copper golems a twisting vine will help them stay in place I only I didn't need it because it's just one so he's not colliding with anything but yes you're gonna put the twisting vine after you have already hit them one time because that way they can fall they should fall back there sometimes on your first hit and you won't even need the vines but if you do need the vines just go ahead and hit them first place the vine and then hit them again and it should all be flush against these chests. I recommend using at least nine copper golems because there are nine chests for them to check. It'll just look smoother. This is what it'll look like with nine golems. We'll just throw everything in here and you'll see almost immediately they start looking through the chest. 
and when you have nine more they all like will take up to nine items at a time instead of one item at a time and you'll see that pretty soon all of these will be open until they find a yeah until they find a chest for it which they really shouldn't I'm pretty sure I took all the items out it looks like they actually are fighting places to put them because we haven't moved into the second storage and then there you go that's the first one moved over from this sorting chest into this second section but yeah that's pretty much it pretty simple no redstone no mine carts very cheap very affordable if you don't have soul sand you can use mud right if you haven't made it to the nether you can use mud it has the same properties and if you don't have twisting vines I don't know what to tell you you need those <laughs> yeah you need the twisting vines but honestly even like I said if you just want to use one for now you're not going to need, need the twisted vines because you need them for when they're the copper golems are colliding with each other and when they collide with each other they won't be able to be flush against the chest they're just going to keep like falling out into the corners so after you hit them once if they're not flush place that down and it'll stop them from colliding with each other that way it's like only one is standing there that's pretty much it let me know if you have any questions and good luck have fun